understand that what you're going through might seem hard, but there are a lot of people who go through the exact same issues you do. And you know what? I'm your pal, so you can always come to me with problems you got, and we'll talk it out, okay? Oh, cool. So you mean you're autistic, and you can relate to the autistic experience, and how being autistic results in a completely different type of life than someone else who doesn't have autism might have? Autistic? Fuck no. Autism is gross. I'm just a normal person. But I am an empath, so I'm specially equipped to be friends with people. An empath? Isn't that kind of rare? At least as rare as being a sociopath, I would presume. Do you find it difficult to be an empath? I mean, from everything I understand, complete empathy is as dangerous as complete sociopathy. There's that episode of Star Trek with the empath, and she's a mute zoo exhibit, incapable of expressing her own agency or desires or feelings because she feels the emotions of other people so much. Are you sure you're really an empath? Oh, fuck yeah, I'm an empath. I'm one of the most empathetic, nicest people you'll ever meet. Oh, cool. That means we'll be able to be great friends, because even though you don't have autism yourself, you'll be able to understand what it's like to be autistic and how hard it is to communicate with people. No, silly, I'm not going to be empathetic towards you. I'm going to be empathetic towards all of the random people you've callously offended over the years with your disgusting autistic behavior, because they're far more worthy of my respect than you, you lowlife. Oh, okay. Well, uh, sure, I guess, if you want it like that. But by being so hostile and insulting me, you're kind of preventing me from reaching any kind of substantive growth or maturity that I might have reached if you were willing to be my friend and empathize with me. I don't have the emotional maturity to help you emotionally mature. All that matters is that I'm emotionally mature and extremely stable and normal and sane. Why you absolutely disgust me. There is nothing you can say that will ever make us friends again, you heathen. You perverse freak of nature. How dare you act according to a condition you were born with. Well, you know, I don't really think friendships should be transactional or conditional like this. I think friendships should be no strings attached, and you should just be able to be a friend with someone, because sometimes you feel like you need human connection or you'll just drift out into this empty void of nothingness. You naive fool! I'm far too shallow and materialistic to engage in a friendship which is purely unconditional and based on mutual respect. You and your autistic ways disgust me. Well, I mean, provided you're going to be shallow and materialistic, I may as well point out that whereas I've given you birthday presents every single year that we've known each other, You've never so much as bothered to show up at any of my birthday parties. You don't deserve any attendees at your birthday party, you backwards embarrassment. You see, we live under late-stage capitalism. It's not that I'm a shitty friend, it's that I sell all my time and energy to a third party. You know, like a sane, stable person would do. I have no control over what goes on under late-stage capitalism, buckaroo. It might seem like I'm socially inept and unable to show you even the slightest hint of gratitude or recognition, but it's that I work a 9 to 5. I'm a busy guy, and I got places to be in this jet-setting lifestyle that we call the rich and famous. You get me, bra? Well, it seems as if you're just sort of using that as a weak excuse to negate your own free will or autonomy. I mean, sure, an exterior system like capitalism might account for, say, 60% of your behavior, but I feel like to develop a mature, thoughtful mindset, you have to realize that some of your behavior you're accountable for. Hold me accountable? For my behavior? We're not talking about me here. We're talking about you. Everything is your fault, and you need to be held accountable for all your behavior, and the world isn't responsible for anything. Well, I feel like I'm kind of being held to a double standard here. If we're talking about individual behavior versus systemic behavior, it is not the behavior caused by my autism, 
which is a genetic condition I have no control over, roughly equitable to your behavior under late stage capitalism? Autism and capitalism are both external factors entirely beyond our control, but at the end of the day, I think if we were both stable, mature, level-headed individuals, we could form some kind of lasting friendship, despite our differences. I guess maybe one of us isn't as stable or mentally healthy as they let on. Well, hey, I don't make the rules. You disgust me. I utterly abhor you in every conceivable way. You make me feel uncomfortable and weird because you don't want to sit in a big group or do drugs or have a ton of sex or engage in a romantic relationship, or drive a car, and th those are the things that make me feel comfortable, and normal, and stable, and sane. And despite me purportedly wanting diversity, somehow, in my grand scheme of diversity, the concept of someone being autistic just doesn't fit in. So you'll have to skedaddle your little keister out of here, okay, compadre? <laughs> okay, well, if you feel it's in your best interest to break up our friendship due to factors that are entirely beyond your control, then you can do that, I guess. It seems like this process of rejecting all your friends because they fail to meet your impossibly high standards is sort of unsustainable. I mean, you could have grown as a person, and I could have grown as a person, and we could have helped each other up, but instead you're just kind of cutting the rope for both of us and we'll both just fall down into the Grand Canyon and lie on our backs like Wile E. Coyote and spill out with blood. But if that's how you want to roll, then I guess I can't stop you because at the end of the day, I respect autonomy and personal accountability and you're free to do whatever you want. The same that I'm free to do whatever I want. And quite frankly, I have no more interest in being your friend. Yeah, that's fine. I have no more interest in being your pal either. You disgust me. Let me go be empathetic with the few friends I have left. One of these days, I won't have any more friends. I'll just have a fiancé. Because in our late capitalist system, romantic relationships are prioritized excessively over platonic relationships. And the only way that I feel I can be validated is if I'm fucking married. If I put a ring on it. I won't be a complete, sane, stable person until I've convinced another person to join me in an unbreakable bond. A connection that lasts a lifetime until the grave. I can't be one person. I need to be two people. I need to be a conjoined twin severed at the hip. Hey, why the fuck don't you have any romantic attraction to anybody? Well, it's because I'm asexual. That's my sexual orientation, and I was born like that, and there's nothing I can do about it. And as a result, I tend to prioritize friendships a little more than romantic relationships, because I'll never have a romantic relationship. God, you make me sick! This is yet another infraction against the status quo. How dare you! Start dating immediately! I need everybody to conform to my expectations of what normal behavior constitutes, or I fucking lose it. I lose my goddamn mind over this shit.